War, loyalty, revenge, and the search for inner peace. The life story of Abraham Sinai, one of Israel's most fascinating spies, has been told many times through TV reports and newspaper articles, often flawed with mistakes and misinformation. I knew that you can't explain his story in a TV report of three, five, or ten minutes. It was clear to me that to understand him in depth, I needed to make a full-length film. Throughout the process, I tried to understand what led from one thing to another. How does a Lebanese shepherd boy become a spy for Israel? And how, from being a spy, he ended up as a captive? And how, after being released, he returned to work for Israel? And how, after moving to Israel, he became an Orthodox Jew? Making use of archives and in-depth interviews, Director Itamar Khan tells the story of the risks and sacrifices Sinai made for Israel by infiltrating into Hezbollah, the Lebanese Shiite terrorist organization, and spying on them. To meet the legendary spy, we drove up to the farm where he currently lives, in Safed, northern Israel. From the very beginning, Sinai welcomed the IDF's presence in Lebanon. He saw the IDF as a stabilizing force in his village during the bitter civil war which ripped Lebanon apart. Terrorists occupied our village since I was seven years old. All my life I saw punishment, brutality, death, murder, no appreciation for human life. I was always afraid. Abraham became a supporter of the IDF after a young officer, Yoab Mordechai, now a major general, assisted his wife when she was given birth. Mordechai would become friend and his handler. Sinai's activities were eventually discovered by Hezbollah. He was severely tortured at the hands of notorious terrorist Imad Mugniye. Abraham's baby child was burned alive in front of his eyes, as punishment for working with the IDF. But the Quran gave him strength to survive his ordeal. I reached Judaism through the Quran, not through the Torah. The Quran brought me to Judaism, and I know the Quran by heart. I learned a lot. In Hezbollah prison, the book gave me strength. It gave me humanity. I interpreted the Quran myself. I didn't allow anyone to tell me how to think. As a spy, Sinai provided essential information that saved Israeli lives. He also played a role in the targeted assassination of Hezbollah Imam Abbas Musawi. Today, Muslims are not following the real Islam. You can look at Islam throughout the world. They are fighting each other, brother against brother. Let's not even look at their fight against the Jews. They are even fighting among themselves. They have no religion. In 1997, Sinai's position was compromised, and he fled to Israel with his wife and children. Arriving in Israel, a new spiritual search began which led to his entire family converting to Judaism. Sinai's story, the rabbi from Hezbollah, is currently showing in cinemas around Israel. The next step is screening the film at international festivals around the world.